If you're watching this video, you're probably somebody that's self-taught, trying to learn online, build up your development skills, or you're somebody that's in a boot camp in a college, just trying to enhance your skills or maybe learn something new. So what I want to do in this video is share with you my personal journey and being uh, self-taught online on YouTube and talk about how far that's taken me, how far I think it can take somebody, what that can do for you and share some of my experiences and thoughts. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just talk about the backstory and how I started this process. So uh, just to go back to 2017, uh, I had a little bit of HTML and CSS skills, some WordPress skills, but I really wanted to be a full stack developer. But at the time I was working in a marketing department uh, at a forensics laboratory. So I always wanted to code and at the lab we had this software that was really outdated and uh, I was married at the time so I didn't really have the luxury of going to a boot camp, going to a college. So I wanted to build this software and I started learning online. So I went online, found a couple of channels, found a couple of courses and I started going through these and I had this idea if I can teach myself how to code, how to build out a full system uh, for the lab that I that we needed, maybe I can pitch my boss on this idea of rebuilding that and this can be my entry into the industry. Now, if I don't get this gig, maybe I can go find a job elsewhere with the skills I pick up. So I really uh, started just honed in on learning how to code, started watching a bunch of YouTube videos and I uh, found channels like Traversy Media, the one that I'm on right now, uh, the new Boston, uh, Justin Mitchell from Coding Entrepreneurs, the Net Ninja, and I started picking up all these skills and putting together a collage of what I thought uh, can put together and make me a full stack developer. So I started watching all these channels. I took a bunch of courses and from each channel, from each course or video that I watched, I started learning about the skills that I needed. And I knew that they weren't gonna build out that system for me. I knew that they wouldn't have enough, but I knew that if I can pick up some skills from each one, maybe I can put them together and then actually piece together the entire system. So about three months of studying, at that time I was comfortable enough and I, I was comfortable enough and I thought, maybe I can start pitching my boss on this idea. So long story short, I pitched him on the idea and he said, if you can build it, uh, we'll work with it. So I spent about six months after that building out this system and I was able to finally complete it through the collage of tutorials. Now in this process, I did buy uh, a few courses. I don't remember exactly how many, but the investment wasn't more than $200 and I probably could have done it all for free just on YouTube. So I was able to build out that system and then uh, long story short, two years after building it, maintaining it, I was able to sell it and I started my career teaching online. So through that process, I did apply for other jobs once I quit that job and once we separated from that system, I did apply to a bunch of jobs and I had so many job offers before I decided, hey, I don't wanna do that, I just wanna teach online. So that's what I do now. But that process and being self-taught, this was completely, uh, the only investment that I had was my own effort, my own uh, ability to do research, to go through this process. That's all I needed. I didn't have to pay for a boot camp or a college, even though that could have been great too. Was able to accomplish uh, a lot with that and then uh, start being able to teach it. So do I think learning on YouTube is enough? I think the short answer is absolutely yes. I think you can do it without even paying for courses. Now there's a lot of courses that are great, and I think you should take some if they if you feel like they can enhance your skills, but really it's on you as long as you put in the effort and put in the time and energy to learn it. Now, uh, it's I don't think it, or I personally think it's never been a better time to learn, especially with cur world current events, what's going on, people being more remote now. Uh, I think it's an amazing time to be able to start learning. There's so much great content from what I've seen in the YouTube or in the tech YouTube world. There is so many people putting out content online now from three years ago when I started that uh, it seems like it's just too easy to have to, or to be able to just learn something rather than going and having to take the traditional route. Now I understand some people need that, but there's more than enough resources to make you a great developer. It's gonna take those resources and your efforts and your ability to uh, continue through that and do research. So uh, some of the strengths and weaknesses I think of learning online. So the first one is I think being uh, being somebody that's in a sense self-taught, uh, I think it builds great development skills. Now, right away, I mean, when you're in coding, any job you have, you're always going to be doing research. There's this coders are just good uh, Googlers, I guess is a good way to put it. We just know how to do research and we know how to solve problems. So if you're learning by yourself, 
right away you're developing those skills because half the task is trying to figure out what you need to learn, what your problem is. You don't have anyone uh, showing you anything or guiding you and you have to just learn that. So it makes you a really good researcher and a problem solver that can really do well once you actually get a job. It really builds up those skills rather than just uh, learning from a school, having somebody guide you and then being thrown out into the world. Uh, another one is if you were able to build up your own skills, you're probably pretty self-motivated. Uh, if you weren't motivated before that, you probably built up those skills and you learn how to pump yourself up. And this makes you a good problem solver. You learn how to uh, work through problems, even though they may take a couple of days and uh, can really be depressing in that process. But being self-motivated is a skill that you're going to have later on in the work environment. So uh, now for the weaknesses. So the big one I would say is going to be that it's hard to get a foundation. When you're starting online, you're getting bombarded with different channels, YouTube channels or different articles online telling you different things. And one thing that a college or a boot camp can give you is they really will give you that good overview with a certain language and a framework where once you get that, you can really um, extend from there and pick up different skills. But at least you have that foundation, the good fundamentals of what you need to learn and they really clean those skills up. So learning online, you could get that, but uh, it just makes you, I guess, more susceptible to um, having what we call shiny ball syndrome. You're jumping after a new language, after a new framework. You don't know what you need to learn and you're just all over the place. And that can really uh, depress a new learner and um, can even knock them out of the industry because they feel like it's too much, even though if they had that teacher, that mentor, uh, they can walk through that process and maybe it wasn't as hard as they thought it would be. So uh, the next one I would say is a lazy learner. So this is somebody that, um, I don't know if there's an official term for it, but somebody that wants to just finish a tutorial, get a task done without really knowing how they put something together. Now, early on, I totally get that uh, it's good to just try to get something done and then maybe learn through it. But I see a lot of people, especially when they're self-taught, being too lazy to read the documentation. They won't go through and read articles thoroughly or understand how something works. They're just trying to get the task done. So they may pick up the skills, but they don't really know what they learned. And because no one's making them do that, they can get lazy. And then once they get into that work environment and they're asked about, they're asked about documentation or something technical, they don't really know how to answer that because they just skimmed through it and they built up enough of a resume to get that interview, but uh, they, can't, they don't really understand what's going on. The last weakness or disadvantage I would say to being self-taught is the fact that tutorials online uh, don't teach you everything you need to know. They're trying to accomplish a task, whether that's a beginner's course uh, or maybe even a more advanced course, but they're not going to teach you everything where uh, as opposed to in a boot camp or in a college, you can have peers working with you, working through these problems. But in these tutorials, you're really left with what they gave you and then you have to do your research and you have to figure it out and put it all together. So you don't get that uh, that in-depth helped with what you're trying to do and you don't get that experience. So you really have to work on that. Now, uh, with that being said, some of my final thoughts, I would say that it's never been a better time to learn online. I think we all know that, especially with the latest current events in this world with what's going on, um, with what Google's doing as far as not requiring the, co uh, the computer science degrees. Um, even though I do think that's still an advantage. If you're up against a candidate that has a degree with the same skills, you are at a disadvantage in many cases, but uh, there's no reason why you still can't land a job and go far into this, especially with the resources we have. You're just gonna have to put into the put in the work. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of effort put into it. There's a lot of research that has to be done, um, but it's definitely the right time. And I think most anybody can do it.